morning guys, welcome to Fish with Ish. It's lockdown freedom for the fishing. Uh, I'm on my way to uh, Willow Marsh. In actual fact, I'm nearly there now. Uh, had a good conversation with Mark yesterday. They've got some uh, good social distancing and uh, info in place. Uh, he's got it all set up. Um, and we're nearly there guys so uh, welcome to fish with fish after the lockdown we're fishing again let's see what we get today at Willow Marsh go and see Mark and Jane um, hope they're well hope everyone else is well Just remember stay safe stay apart from each other at least two meters we're gonna see what Mark's got going on here um, I'm going to put down the rules for Willow Marsh so any local guys who want to go um, you'll see exactly what's going on so I'm going to stop the camera now I'm going to turn the camera around apparently you are queuing your car Mark does everything where you're in the car you don't get out of the car safety first guys safety first guys I'm, oh, I'm so looking forward to this do you know what even if I blank I don't give a toss Fish with fish, were we? What will, what will me dad say? What will Spartacus to say? As you can see, Spartacus isn't with me. He's self isolating. Apparently, um, he's sending me his best. He said through gritty teeth yesterday. So uh, I, I feel like I'm cheating on him. I've got to be honest. I feel like I'm having an affair going fishing without Spartacus. So uh, thanks. Uh, oh, smash the button. Subscribe, hit the like. Thank you very much, guys. I'll turn the camera around. So guys, they're doing it all sort of from out the, uh, they're not actually, you're not getting out of your car, you're driving down to where you want to fish. Hey then, bud, you alright? Yeah, are you? Yeah, living the dream I am today. Yeah, you will be. I am today. Um, only me fishing, obviously. Could I order a sandwich as well? Yeah, what do you want, mate? Uh, can I have uh, sausage and egg red sauce? Fish. Hey, how you doing, oh, son? Right, right. I, I said, you can't do that, Spartacus. You're supposed to be lead, leading by example. Well, he's late 70s, isn't he, bitch? He's 80. Is he 80? Yeah, he's 80. Doing well for 80, though. You're not here in half, mate. You don't look 80. No. So uh, it's where I get my boys' good looks from. Know, it's in the jeans. Oh, no. It's in <laughs> me Viking jeans. Right, uh, I don't know where I'm going. Uh, yeah, we'll I'm... find you. Yeah, all right then, I'll see you right, later. You Stay safe, lads. Decided I'm gonna fish whispers. Um, and I'm gonna fish here, I think. Fish here by this tree uh, where I had that brilliant, brilliant, brilliant day of uh, tank fishing. Water looks nice and up. So, uh, no, looking good, guys. Looking good. Right, I need a bit of space, obviously, for my pole. So. Fish. Look, fish here. 
looking liking the look of this. Good morning guys, welcome to Fish with Bish. Lockdown is over, we can go fishing. This is my first day on the bank, this is Friday. Uh, I'm at Willow Marsh, uh, just been talking to Mark and the guys here um, at a safe distance. Um, very well set up how you come in. Um, when you come in, you stay in your car, you drive up, the guys come to you, you can pay by cash or credit card. Um, you can't go into the cabin and buy anything, so suggestion is bring as much bait with you as you need. Um, they are selling corn and uh, pellets off the back of the pickup so that then you're not having to go. So social distance is staying well. Um, they're doing it from the passenger side. So if you're in the, in the car on your own, which you will be unless you've come with someone from your own home, uh, they're doing it from the passenger side. So you've still got a bit of social distancing going on there. You drive around to your peg. They're asking that you fish every other peg which is, makes sense really. Um, but if you look at the distances between the pegs, so this is the peg that I'm fishing, and that's the next peg, which is about three, three and a half metres. And the next peg again is about three and a half metres. But to be on the safe side, and fair play, this is the right thing to do. If we want to go fishing, we need to abide by the rules. So uh, stay safe, stay apart, and what is it Boris is saying, stay alert, because we need all the alerts we can get. So. Um, Already fished, couldn't help myself before I got the camera out. Uh, I've already had four decent carp, so I'm going to set the cameras up now and then we'll just let it run. Remember, please hit the like, please subscribe. Welcome to Fish with Bish. We're at Willow Marsh, back on the bank. Boom! Well, guys, um, welcome to Fish with Bish. Let's just run through the rigs very quickly. Right, I've got a... I've got a Drennan Carp 5 with a uh, wire stem, which is... Wire stem is my favourite because they uh, they settle really quickly. Um, I'm not fishing particularly deep. The lake isn't deep on this section. so I'm all, all tangled. Um, got a couple of shots up here at the top just to help it cock really quickly because the fish, the bites are quite quick. And then I've got some bulk shot down there, down to a 16 uh, banded Camasan wide gape hook. So um, let's get out there. Well, first of all, that's the, uh, that's the, uh, I'm fishing at about five meters out um, because it doesn't get any deeper or, and the fish seem to be that far out anyway. Uh, before I actually go back out again, because I've just stopped to set up the cameras, I've got to be honest guys, I have been already fishing, I couldn't help myself uh, before I got the cameras out. Um, I'm just, I've got some dampened, dampened uh, fishery pellets that I've bought off Mark, uh, the micro, I've damped those. I've literally put about three or four of the pellets that I'm actually fishing with, which are the uh, Dynamite Baits Green Swim Stem Pellets, which I'm finding are absolutely wonderful at the minute. So, uh, I'm not putting loads out there because I've already fed. Um, I'm just gonna... Drop a feed out. Let me see if I can get you to, to see. All right, so. I'm not making loads of noise because I don't want them up in the water. There we go. Let me just put the, the cup back and we'll get out fishing, eh? So, let's say I've already got the 6mm pellet. Well, let's see how we get on. For you, this is the first chuck. For me, this is about the sixth. I had four carp already. Um, so let's get it in. Let's see how we get on, eh?
Right, first one on camera for this for this season. So it's not a very big fella. Nice looking fish there. Just got him on the worm. There we go guys. Let's get him back. A mark on him. Beautiful. I know this is a fisherman's tail, but that's the smallest one I've had. <laughs> it's the first one on camera, but the smallest one I've had. Right. So, just show you this, because I think I'm a bit unusual with this. The way I actually, because I use a banded hook uh, to put worms on. Uh, I've not chopped any worms up yet, so let me just... And when you're dealing with fish of that size, there's no real need. So, I've got a whole worm. What I do is I use a banding needle. Push the needle through the worm by the saddle. So it's literally on there. Then I hook the band. Push the worm on and then the worm effectively if you can see that the worm effectively is on the the line between the between the hook and the band so the band is completely free on the other side of the of the worm and that will just stay on there and the hook is completely out the worm and that worm will stay on until a fish grabs it of course so I'm not actually gonna chop any worms up yet and put them in but we'll just see, seeing as that change of bait there worked. So let's uh, let's get back out. Smaller fish, much smaller fish. Let's see what we got here. I think it's a I think it's a perch. Or is it a goodie? As I say, I wanted a mixed bag, so. <laughs> right, I did say I wanted a mixed bag. Now you saw the size of that worm. And that's the size of the gudgeon that, that took the worm. Almost as big as him. Now let's get him back. Let me just turn you off for a second because I'm going to do a sandwich review, I think. Right, well then, guys. Uh, we're going to do the Sun Times now and again, special edition of the sandwich review. We'll see how the lockdown has affected the sandwiches at Willow Marsh. We have gone for the standard sausage and egg red sauce. It comes wrapped in silver foil. You order as you come in, as I say, social distancing and everything. You order from the car, it's just amazing. Um, you order from the car, they produce it, and then bring it round to you. So, we have such an egg red sauce, softest white bread you've ever seen. To be honest with you, the lockdown, if anything, has improved the sandwiches. If Mark is making these, then I think he's probably been doing a little bit of practicing. Sausage and egg. And red sauce. God, I've missed this. Sitting by the water. Sandwich, catching fish, having a great time.
absolutely bang on. Everyone's catching. It's quite busy. I'll just spin this round. I'm on the I'm on the um I'm on the middle pool, as you can see. Quite a few people out. Quite a few people out, the guys over there fishing. Everyone's having a, a decent time, everyone's social distancing. But back to the sandwich. House Martins after my bleeding sandwich, so do. Right, this is Bish on your culinary expertise show for the sandwiches reviews. Signing off, because I'm going to eat my sandwich. Right, I have chopped some worms up, um, and what I'm going to do is uh, I've put some in the pot. And as I think, caught a car. I've had a goodie. Let's see what else we can get in there. Right, there we go. And so there is a chopped worm on the on the hook. This is a big fella. Take it easy, bitch.
Peterborough. Not that big, but God, he's faulty. Still got a bit of fighting. Still fighting there. There we go guys, torpedo shape, I think they're just coming off spawning so they've not got any bellies on them or anything, I wouldn't like to say however he is, he's a good looking fella, there he goes, smile for the camera so. Fish with fish, please subscribe, hit the like, hit the bell, come on guys, you know you want to, tell your friends, tell your enemies, beautiful fish, let's get him back in as quick as we can, beautiful stuff. Oh. 